Hey, welcome back to my channel. So if you're like me, you probably have a huge collection of old clothing that you don't wear anymore, especially t-shirts. I've accumulated a lot of t-shirts over the years. Some are still cute, some are not that cute. And so in this video, I'm actually gonna show you a bunch of different ways to reuse your old t-shirts. And not just taking your t-shirts and making other shirts, but also making other things that you might want but don't wanna spend money on, or maybe other things that you might find rather useful. Let's begin. First thing you want to do, go through your shirts, figure out which ones you want to keep, which ones you want to toss, which ones are sentimental to you, maybe they mean something, um, and you know, just kind of, I guess, sort them out. And then afterwards, for the ones that you don't mind cutting, grab your scissors, because we're going to start cutting. Okay, so for the first one, I'm going to show you how to do the tight crop top, and it's so great for the summer and there's so many different ways that you can actually achieve this look but I'm going to show you how I do it. I just like to take the sleeves off, the neck off and I make two tails down at the bottom of the t-shirt and then afterwards I just take my scissors and I snip and I, I like to use a marker this way you know everything is kind of as even as possible. And then once you're done, this is what it should look like. Now, if you look at the edges, it just looks very freshly cut, you know? And so what I like to do is I just like to pull the fabric. And once you pull the fabric, it'll kind of like make it not look so freshly cut. It'll like roll backwards and um, it'll just look better. But it will also do this after you wash it as well. And then you just tie the knots and this is what it looks like. Now, if you wanna see a different version, my sister made one, but hers is not a crop top and she does not have any ties in the back of the shirt. And then she just ties it and it looks really cute. And the next one is my favorite. It's the fringe tank and I love, I just, fringe is perfect for the summer. It's just really fun and it looks really, you can even wear it over like your bathing suit if you want to. And since I'm in California, I'm gonna take my sleeves off, but you can leave yours on. And then afterwards, I wanna go to the bottom of the shirt and you're in complete control over how you know short this top is. It doesn't have to be a crop top. It could I mean it could totally be like appropriate for school if you want it to be, or it could be a crop top, um, depending on how high you cut the fringe. And then after I cut my little strings, I pull on them, and like I did before with the previous shirt, it just kind of gathers it together so it doesn't look so like you know freshly cut. And um, this is what they look like when I'm finished with the front. And then afterwards, I just wanna flip it over to the back and do the exact same, but be sure not to cut any of the fringes off from the front. If you wanna put a separator in, you can do so. It takes kind of a long time, so I just like listened to my sister practice music uh, while I did this because it takes about you know 20 minutes or 30 minutes or so to finish the entire thing. And then once you're finished, you'll notice that the ends look like, um, well, there's a bottom to them. So this is what I do to get rid of that, make it look more professional. I just take it and I tie it in a knot. And then once I tie it in a knot, I cut that end off. And it just looks cleaner. But that's optional. You can leave them if you don't mind. Or you can just snip that end part off. Or you can tie it in a knot. I mean, whatever you want to do. Just, just do it. I tied mine in knots. Now if you really are feeling oh so sexy, you can add some beads. To, well, I guess that's not really a sexy thing, but you can add some beads to it. All right, the next shirt, it's just your basic muscle tank. Me and my sister have 70,000 million of these. <laughs> just take off the sleeves and take off the neck and that's it. And then just cut, make sure everything's cut evenly. And afterwards I just pull the edges and you're done. Wear it to the gym, wear it hiking, wear it over a bathing suit. Okay, this shirt I've had for like seven, six, seven years. I love like Tahoe. It's one of my favorite places to go. And I don't want to get rid of the shirt, but there's so many stains on it that I'm never going to wear it. So I'm going to actually frame it. So if you have a shirt like I do that you don't want to get rid of and you don't want to cut it because it just means something to you, then don't cut it. Just frame it. Okay, this frame is a horrible example because it's just really hard to frame a shirt in because it's so small. But look at the possibilities. It's so cute. And I'm keeping that. Look at my stain. <laughs> All right, so you just cut up some shirts. You have scraps laying everywhere, so you're probably thinking I need to throw them away, but don't. Yeah, I don't know why we can use them. First thing I'm gonna show you how to do is make no-slip clothing hangers. These are actually really expensive to buy. They usually come like this with like velvet wrapped around, and they're awesome. I mean, they're, they're, they're great, you know? Your clothes don't slip off of them, but they're so expensive, like I just said. 
And, um, you know, when you have your regular hangers, you try to put maybe like something with a spaghetti strap on it and it just slips right off and it's so annoying. So I'm going to actually show you how to make really cute and colorful no slip hangers with the scraps of your t-shirt. And your clothes are not, you can get so, you can get ratchet <laughs> and your clothes are not going to fall off. So get your hanger and you just want to get some scraps from a t-shirt, preferably long you know, it doesn't have to be a perfect, nothing has to be perfect when it comes to this because essentially you're just basically wrapping around each other so you're not going to be able to see any imperfections or anything like that. And you just keep overlapping, you know, whenever you end with one strip, just overlap with the next strip and just keep, you know, going around and around and around the entire thing until your hanger is completely covered. Even if you don't, you know, need like non-slip hangers, when you do this to enough of your hangers, um, by the way, this takes like, I don't know, 15 minutes per hanger, I would say. So you can have like a party and have, you know, do it with all your friends or something. That's what she said. Anyway, when you have like so many different hangers completely covered in, you know, different colors and things like that, um, it looks really good in your closet. My sister and I did a bunch of them and they look so cute on top of like being useful because your, you know, slippery clothes or your satin tops or, or silk or whatever the fabric is, it doesn't slip off no matter how much you're moving. It's freaking awesome. We're really happy with it. Bracelets. You can make some really cool casual bracelets out of old t-shirt scraps and strips. I took this sleeve right here and I basically made a couple bracelets out of just this one sleeve. And there's so many different variations of how you can make bracelets out of old t-shirts. But I'm just going to show you a couple ways because if I show you all the ways we will be here all of the days. <laughs> Get it? You know, it rhymes. Anyways, take your strips and I tugged on them first to make them really stringy and I basically just keep tying them in knots. Knots after knots after knots until I finish the entire bracelet and then when I'm done tying knots, I tie another knot. <laughs> I tie both ends um, in, in knots to secure it. Another way to do this, the exact same method, all you're doing though is after you tie one knot, you add a bead and then tie another knot and then add a bead. Tie another knot, add a bead. Tie another knot, add a bead <laughs> until you are completely finished. And then um, this is what it looks like once you're finished. And another way to make a bracelet using beads also, and it's really, really simple, is just take one single stretched out string of, of a shirt and your beads and it's the same thing you just tie a knot except for you're only doing it on one string so if any of your uh, fringes rip off of your shirt on accident make a bracelet with that fringe that ripped off so I'm just basically adding um, you know a little metal bead like this and then I'm gonna tie a knot right underneath where the bead is and then I'm gonna add another metal bead and then secure it underneath with a knot. And I'm just gonna keep doing that until I get to the very end of the bracelet. Now for this particular bracelet, I didn't have a lot of matching beads. So I just kind of, you know, added a variation of these metal beads that you see. But if you have matching beads, it might look better. Um, unless you like this style, I kind of like it actually. So I just went ahead and kept it. And then I secured the end with more knots. And these are actually all of the bracelets that my sister and I have made so far. Um, with more to come, we're still playing around with them and there's so many different variations of bracelets that you can make out of t-shirt scraps. And there's so many other things that you can make out of t-shirts. It's actually the end of my video, but if you guys want a part two of things you can do with old t-shirts, let me know in the comments below. Also, if you guys have, you know, cool things that you've done with old t-shirts, then on Instagram, just send me a picture and hashtag it with Andrew's Choice and I will check it out. I'll see you guys soon. Okay? I love you. Bye.